Hey, mountain friends. How's everybody doing today? Y'all, I am at it again. It's part of our 12 cakes of Christmas. And this is really, it's, it's called a chocolate eclair cake. Now, if you're from where I'm from, <laughs> Uh, where I was raised, they didn't call it, we call it a Clara cake, chocolate a cake, but it's, it's really not really a cake, but it was called a chocolate a Clara cake, but that, uh, that gives it the right to be in my 12 cakes of Christmas, uh, series that I've been doing y'all. So welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. My name's Missy. If you just started following me, um, I cook mountain style, but I also cook a little bit of variety of different things i just love to cook but um y'all i'm from the mountains of southeast kentucky and i learned by just watching my my mom my aunt my mama cook and y'all this chocolate eclair cake was one of the cakes that my aunt patty made a lot for us now my aunt patty was quite the cook i actually learned more from her than i did anybody else in my family even my mom um but she's the one who always made all the fancy stuff. Uh, and uh, chocolate eclair cake was one of our, we'd always say, is Aunt Patty gonna make a chocolate eclair cake? Every holiday, she'd make it for us. And y'all, I was raised up, there was a lot of us, and uh, she would make us this cake. So let me just give you the um, rundown of what's in this right fast before I get started on it. And you'll wanna chill this ahead before you make it, cause it's got graham crackers in it and pudding in it and Cool Whip and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll just go over what's in it right quick for you, okay? So for the cake part, you're gonna need a box of graham crackers. So I'm just using uh, a Kroger brand of graham crackers, whatever kind you want. Uh, two packages of instant French vanilla pudding. And I'm using Jello instant vanilla pudding and I'm using the small box, which is a uh, I think this is a, a four and a half cup serving. So this is just a small box. So you need two of them, instant French vanilla jello pudding. And you're gonna need two and a half cups of whole milk. And you're gonna need 12 ounces, 12 ounces of whipped topping. Uh, this, now Cool Whip comes like this most of the time or whipped topping, this is Kroger brand. I like the red, if you're not gonna make your own whipped cream, use the red kind it's got cream in it if you buy a regular old cool whip it doesn't even have dairy in it it's like whipped hydrogenated oil it's i don't like it uh if i'm not making my own i use the extra cream if you're using a cool whip brand it'll say extra creamy if you get like a kroger brand which this is or a walmart brand it's still going to be red it's going to usually have a red packaging and this says extra creamy on it these are eight ounce packages, okay? So for 12 ounces, I wanna use one of them and about probably almost a half of another. And, and that's what you're gonna need for this. And they need to be like, uh, not room temperature, but thawed out, kept in the fridge, not froze. So when you go to use it, you don't want them frozen. And always use the extra creamy if you're not making your own. And let me make sure that I've got, okay, that was for the cake part, yeah. Now for the frosting part, some people like to do, um, for the frosting part, it's like, it's a chocolate, okay? Like a chocolate frosting. Uh, my, my Aunt Patty used canned frosting, you know, like you get canned milk chocolate frosting, Betty Crocker or whatever. Uh, she used that on top of hers. I, I'm not gonna use that on top of mine because I prefer to make my own frosting um, because I don't like canned frosting. Um, it actually, canned frosting still tastes good on this. And when I was growing up, I loved it and ate it, never thought a thing about it. But when I started making this myself, I saw some recipes where you can make the own, your own chocolate frosting go on top. And to me, I think it's a little better than canned frosting. So I'm not a fan of canned frosting. If you've been following me at all, you know I'm not a fan of it. And so let me give you the recipe for that. Now for the frosting part, you're gonna need two ounces of, of semi-sweet or dark chocolate chips. If you got milk chocolate chips, that'll work too. You're gonna to need two tablespoons of corn syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla, 
three tablespoons of unsalted butter and about one and a half cups of powdered sugar and about three tablespoons of whole milk. And that's gonna be the frosting part. So let's get started, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna get started on the filling part of the cake. Now you'll need a nine by 13 uh, pan for this. I'm gonna use an aluminum pan uh, that's disposable because I'm gonna be giving this away. And, uh, but you need about a nine by 13 size for this. So I'm gonna put my pudding mix in here. I've already got one in here. I'm gonna put the other one in here. Now y'all, when I was growing up, I had a lot of cousins and I had a lot of girl cousins. <laughs> my mom and her sisters all had, um, mom had three, she had uh, two of her sisters. Mom had three girls, so I've got two other sisters. Uh, one of her other sisters had three girls and another one of her sister had three girls. Uh, plus uh, one of, and then another one of her sisters had um, five girls. <laughs> <laughs> plus uh, a couple of boys and there was a few boys in the mix, but there was a bunch of us growing up and when, and, and then she had a brother that had two girls. So there was a lot of girls in the family, but I had a lot of cousins. So when we were growing up, we just got together for Christmas. Everybody would pile in my mama's house. Now on my daddy's side, I only had one girl cousin and, uh, but, um, but, all growing up, we all piled in my mamaw's little house. And y'all, just a lot of good memories when you think about the holidays coming up. And, um, but anyway, we just love this cake. My Aunt Patty always uh, made sure she'd make it for us. And yeah, Christmas time brings back a lot of memories. A lot of us all scattered out nowadays and got our own families, but, uh, we was all raised, I was raised up in Tan Yard Holler and uh, my mamaw's house was there and all my cousins and everybody, we'd all gather in Tan Yard Holler at my mamaw's for Christmas and my papaw's. And um, it was just good times, you know. So I'm curious to know your, your family, some of your most uh, treasured memories. I know for us, um, Sometimes it'd be snowing, you know, in the mountains it would snow and um, and we'd all get out and take our sleds and play outside sometimes. And even though it was cold, the mamaw's house was so little and she had a coal, they had a coal stove. And y'all, if you've ever been around cold heat in your life, it will run you out. And there's so many in our, in that house, it would just, we'd just get hot. So. We'd get outside and still play, even though it'd be cold in the wintertime. We'd be outside doing something. But just got some good memories there of all the good food and everything. Sometimes we didn't have turkey. Sometimes we just had whatever. We'd have meat and taters and cornbread and dressing and stuff. And usually some kind of homemade, always homemade pies and puddings and uh but y'all, we just had some good times growing up, and I'm thankful for that. So uh, what I do, I just mix mine by hand. It doesn't take a lot, and I mixed it with a um, with a whisk. So now I'm just going to fold in my Cool Whip or my Whip Top, and this really ain't Cool Whip; it's Whip Top. And. Uh, I think the fun, the most fun games we ever really did play, we always, we always seem to always play hide and seek. <laughs> and being up in the holler, there was all kinds of places to go hide and seek. Yeah. So I'm just making sure, so see that's really smooth. And there's no lumps in it. And that will thicken as it goes too, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to fold in my Cool Whip here. This is uh, a whole eight ounce here. And then I'm going to put in about half of the other. There we 
go. So when you do Cool Whip, just fold it in like that right there. I'm not gonna use my whisk because I wanna keep it fluffy and creamy and there's no need to whisk it up. Just fold it in like that. And I'm gonna keep doing that until all the Cool Whip is mixed in. All right, now it's time to layer this up and this is this goes pretty quick too. Um, uh, the frosting, you have to cook a little bit like on the stove, it's not hard. Uh, so it, that might take a little bit, but other than that, it's really, so as you can see, when you get done, you're gonna have a really thick, creamy uh, pudding here to put, um, to layer it. So it's basically about two layers. And I'm gonna open up my graham crackers. Speaking of pudding, that's Kenzie's nickname. I call her pudding. I'll say pudding, I really don't, I can't. It's a chore to call it pudding, y'all. So I don't say pudding, I say pudding. And that's just how I say it. And uh, either way, it's still, it's still good, but yeah. Kenzie's nickname is pudding. And she loves it, she loves that color pudding. Uh, I had a nickname growing up. My papa used to call me Mick. And that's how y'all hear me tell about my little nephew. Lincoln calls me Bick. That's why he calls me Bick. Because when my, when my nephew Nicholas, it's his daddy, was little, he called me Mick. Because, you know, my family still kind of does call me Mick occasionally. That's my nickname that my papa gave me. Don't know why. But anyway, um... So we tried to get Lincoln to call me Mick, and he's little feller. He couldn't, he couldn't say it, or ever how. But anyway, I got the name Bick. So that's me. That's why I'm Aunt Bick, because Lincoln couldn't say Mick or didn't want to. So either way, it's cute. But yeah, everybody and where I'm from, even in the, I don't know. Seems like it's more in the south or down where i'm from in the east kentucky everybody's got a nickname <laughs> growing up just about everybody's got a nickname so you want to layer your ground crackers down just like that right there and i like a good layer of them so let me just break mine up a little bit so i can fit them in and you want this to sit a while because you want your crackers to soften up it's you don't want to bite into it with the crackers crunchy. I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think it tastes as good. Now you can do some varieties with this. If you wanted to do, you can get cheesecake a flavored pudding now. If you want to do a, like a layer of cheesecake, uh, get the cheesecake pudding. You can layer this with some strawberries and that cheesecake pudding would be good. Top it with uh, chocolate steel if you wanted to, cause chocolate and strawberry is good. Some bananas in there make more like a banana split and just top it with some extra uh, whipped cream. Still put your chocolate on. There's a lot of different um, varieties, different ways you can make this dessert and it'd be good no matter what. So I'm just gonna layer it down like this right here. Spread it out. A spoon. Yeah, spread it out. Technically, this kind of dessert, people usually make the night before you're gonna serve it. Cause it needs at least about eight hours in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna put my other layer down here. So I like to break apart the graham crackers and make sure all my little Nooks and crannies are covered because you want some, you want them good bites of the graham crackers. And here goes the final layer here. Layered as much as you want. I said two, but I ended up doing three because my pan's just a little smaller than a nine by 13 because it's kind of shorter, a little deeper. 
but you can put as many layers as you can get. Y'all, this is similar. This is basically somewhat similar to how I do my banana pudding. Uh, if, except I add cream cheese to mine and sweet and condensed milk. Um, so I'm going to spread that out and I'm going to put a final layer of graham crackers on. And then I'm going to put my chocolate on. Squeeze it all together. We'll get it all in there. Down. Break my little pieces. Now, now I'm gonna make the chocolate topping. Now over here in my saucepan, over about a medium heat, I have my chocolate chips and my butter in my saucepan. Um, this, if you, two ounces of chocolate chips is about a third a cup. So that's what I put in here. And I got my three tablespoons of softened butter. The butter's already softened. Over about a medium heat, gonna melt this. And I'm gonna do, um, two tablespoons of corn syrup, light corn syrup. I'm using k -Row brand. And I'll add that right in there. And I'm going to melt it really slow. And when that melts, I'll add in about a teaspoon of vanilla and a little bit of uh, milk, about three tablespoons of milk. And I'm gonna add in about one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Cause it's still gonna be a frosting. You're gonna be able to spread it. So I'm gonna let that melt. And I'm gonna stir it the whole time. Okay, now my chocolate and my syrup and my butter is all melted and smooth. Didn't take long. But always remember when you're melting chocolate to, um, you don't want to burn it. If you burn it, if you burn it, you burn it. <laughs> That's a good saying right there. Um, Y'all, when I was growing up, anything that was ruined, we said burnt. And I still do a lot. I catch myself trying not to say it because people don't know what I'm talking about. But mom still says it. So yeah, if you burn it, you burn it. That's pretty much it. Now, I'm not going to add my milk yet. I want to add my sugar in here. So, I'm doing a cup, about a cup and a, cup and a half of powdered sugar. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to drizzle just a little milk in here. Maybe about a tablespoon to start off. Grab my vanilla. I oh, forgot my vanilla extract. Put in some vanilla extract. And you're just gonna stir this until it's not lumpy. You want it smooth. I can smell that vanilla. Mmm, smells good. So this is going to Come together now. I'll have to add a little milk. I already can tell. A little bit more. And I want to change over to my whisk. That way I make sure I get, there's no lumps in here. So let me grab my whisk. So look at this, look at that y'all. If you can make, I'm gonna add just a tad more milk. If you can make the frosting on this, it's much better. I personally like it better. So it's really good. And it's not a lot of work either. So to me, I think this is better. So there's, that's what it should look like. 
that's going to be your icing that's going to go on the eclair cake so now let's get the cake all right y'all this is just about ready to put the chocolate on and i take me a break and take me a drink of my y'all sweet tea love my tumbler been drinking on it all day i like it <laughs> that um it's not breakable because i broke my last one and uh did i break it or I I broke it? yeah this fella right here broke mm -hmm. it but i forgive him it's all right <laughs> yeah he's always got his nose around wanting to know what i'm making i do want to know what you're it's making. it's got chocolate involved he's really yeah he's really interested i'm a remember, chocolate holic. remember ain't patty making this chocolate eclair cake is that what this is yeah so i'm gonna pour the chocolate right on top and get in here mm. and uh you need more chocolate. Need more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My Aunt Patty used to make this for everybody for Christmas time and Thanksgiving and look at that. Oh I am. But it ain't hard already to eat. You gotta give it you gotta let it sit a while. Well, just wait till like the graham crackers yeah, get soft. It's gotta yeah. It's better to make this usually overnight. And like I said, if you don't want to make the chocolate topping yourself, just get you a can of chocolate frosting. Nutella. Yeah, it'd be good with Nutella on it. It would. And just spread it out. That looks like Nutella. Well, mm. it's not Nutella. But mm -hmm. I mean, it just looks that good. <laughs> it's Mountain, Mountain Missy's. Mountain Missy chocolate. Mountain Missy. <laughs> Mountain Missy chocolate. So you just spread it out. Make sure you do spread it all the way out to the edge. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna give this away. We are. Yeah. How can I eat it if you give it away? Well, I might give you a bite. Just do it. Can't Who are you giving it to? I don't know. Hmm. Mom, Dad likes it. Mom likes this too. Yeah, I, I give a lot of our stuff away. To if you don't, I eat it all. <laughs> well, we don't need it, and I like to do. Uh, uh, there's a lot of volunteer uh, shelters around here that like to feed their volunteers and stuff. So um, I like to help them out. So that's everybody's always up for a good dessert or something good homemade. So there's a there it is, y'all. It's just really easy. You want to lick? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so you're done with that. Yeah. Hey, his favorite part? Yeah, I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> Y'all, look at that. Mm. So you're just going to let this set in What'd the refrigerator. Mm. I made uh, chocolate chips and syrup and butter and That's good milk. Stuff. Sugar. It's got sugar in it, so you can't have that much sugar. I tell him only sugar, only sweetness he needs is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i will do i will be dropping the recipe for this so i hope y'all make it if you do let me know it's part of the 12 cakes of christmas that's good stuff y'all yeah mm. and i will be dropping the link to the y'all sweet tea uh, um uh tea i love the tea that it comes unsweet or you can make it sweet a lot of times i just make my unsweet and i add monk fruit or stevia um, and the tumblers are still available. Some of the tumblers, I think one variety is still left. And I will be dropping the link for that too, because I know a lot of you may be asking. But that's how I like to just sit mine around the house, drink on it all day. But I'll be dropping the link for that. But I will drop the, com the link, not the link, the recipe to this cake in the comments for y'all. It's a chocolate eclair cake. It is so good, y'all. Everybody will love you for it. And you'll be, what, the hit? Hit of the party. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> you'll be the hit of the party. So anyway, but yeah, and this will freeze too. If you wanted to stick it in a freezer, uh, stick it in the freezer and then put it out in the, in the refrigerator about the day before, it'll work fine too. So... It's really good for Christmas parties, whatever you need to go to, y'all. So just check it out. So I hope you make this. If you do, let me know. Remember, just tag me at Mountain 
cooking, C-O-O-K-I-N, with Missy. If you make anything, just put it, shout me out on your page. Uh, and uh, remember, share the videos. Anybody shares videos, you can be entered a uh, chance to w get entered to win CDs. Because I got CDs. And Roger's over here trying to get on, quit! He's over here just trying to be mean to me and distract me and make faces at me. But anyway, if you want to get a, have a chance to win my CDs, just share the videos because I can see who shares. And I gave, uh, we gave some away in November, so this is December. And remember, always share because we like to give back and we like to help everybody out and, and that helps us out. So, and that's how, so if you want to win CDs, just share the videos. So, are you done? For now. <laughs> He's a he's a big cut up, big clown, always trying to make me laugh, which uh, he does. He makes me laugh. Love the smile. Yeah, I like to see smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you guys. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. Oh, just good eating. Just good eating. Bye, guys.